Welcome back, everyone. It is about to be morning, and that skeleton is going to be mine. I'm going to turn you into bone meal, Mr. Skelly. In the meantime, I've actually gotten all the dirt I require. I'm going to go with marble, because limestone, it looks, it looks like it's just building material. Marble, but same, so why not? At least now I have some stuff to build. The quest that seems like it's going to take the most time for me is going to be the the grass breaking quest. Ah, it's a head. I'm being attacked by heads. <laughs> Just quick frantically. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. Hey. Can you blow up some train for me? No, you actually won't. Okay, so I guess that mob griefing is off by default because I didn't change that. Well, I guess that's good to know. Red sand. Did, did this? I think that hurt me. Or maybe I just... Oh, you run out of air really fast in the water. What's eelgrass used for? Oh. Cactus greed. Can, green can be made from that. Cactus greed. This is the greediest cactus you'll ever know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just insane. Hmm. I need a new hatchet. I also need a lot more wood. So I can make a new chest. I'm I pretty much used up all the wood I had making the the Tinker's construct items. Some more wood ash. I will always accept that. So this is basically my little base. <laughs> it's all I have in the world. I don't know why that dirt decided to go there instead of in my stack but whatever let's I don't have enough for a chest yet I am so used to clicking control to sprint now and it's not sprinting I've, I have to double tap again these apples are not lasting very long it's only been one night and I've, I've gone through almost half my apples. Okay, give me a new chest. Put that in there. Throw this extra stuff I don't need in here. Actually, I do need that one. a lot of sticks. I just throw these in here for now. The books. Okay, my inventory's better. Oh, I need one. Two sticks. So I need a crafting table so I can make the final piece. And there we go. Tool station is made. Which I will put right here because I can use it to repair my tools. Alright, and with that out of the way. Claim the reward. I get a lot more dead wood. Charcoal and full guard pattern, which is awesome. It means I can get a better sword pretty much right away. Grasping at straws. It's just so time consuming. Is there a sickle? No, not really. Well, I might as well turn the bones into bone meal right away. Why is it not accepting my floral fertilizer? 4650. 
can't tell the number. Is there other floral fertilizer? No, there's only one. Hmm. If this quest is broken, that's gonna that's gonna put a bit of a wrench into the works of the rest of these videos. Because how am I gonna do anything if I can't get the floral fertilizer? Or maybe it just won't count it until after I've gotten everything. Random hole to nowhere. Hey, yeah, I saw some belladonna seeds. That's positive. How much grass do you think it's going to take before I get everything? Well, there's more belladonna seeds. I don't need belladonna seeds. I need fertilizer. Like that. Yeah, it's not counting any of it. And where do I get clay from? Because no way do I get clay from grass. No way. I do get clay from grass. Really? Ah, okay, so it doesn't actually count until I've gotten all of them. Good. That's good to know. It's a little annoying, but at least it does work. So I wonder if this mod pack works just by making a uh, making the entire world a single biome. I, it, it can't be a single biome because there's an ocean nearby. But oh, I got some bone meal finally. More floral fertilizer. I think that was another one of those pasture seeds. Do different types of grass give you different types of drops, or am I just getting coincidental drops for everything else? One more clay. One more, please. There we go. Okay, I'll stop bringing grass now. Okay, so I got a bunch of seeds, which is great. And look at all that. I got lots of stuff I can do now. I can get a bucket, which I need to bake in order to actually use. Which I'll get a lot more dirt and some more bone meal. Flowering the floral fertilizer seems to produce some interesting flowers when used on a dirt surface. Of course. I think I will go with the bucket first though, because we need... We need farming. <laughs> And rather than make my farm wherever there's water, I need it here. Right here. I cannot use Deadwood as fuel. That saddens me a bit. Ha! Bucket. Okay, claim the reward. That's a lot more dirt. Not Farmville 3. Some of the seeds you have used ground should make a good start for a farm. Maybe you'll be actually be able to feed yourself this way. I need to craft three crops. Okay. So, done that accidentally. Well, I figured it out accidentally. Oh. It actually makes a lot. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Oh, I need to craft it three times. It's kind of weird. Detection, wheat, sugarcane, mandrake roots. Turns out you can combine certain plants to mutate them into others by leaving a crossbreeding double set of crop sticks between two plants. Wheat and carrots seem to produce sugarcane, while potato and belladonna seem to produce mandrake root. Sugarcane seeds are required, require sand to be used as soil, so to mutate them you need cross crops planted on sand slash red sand. Ooh, they sure did make it complicated, didn't they? Thankfully, I know where some red sand is. Or at least I thought, yep, there it is. Can't escape water. Things are exploding. I'm scared. Why are things exploding? I guess that means we're just gonna... Hmm. Maybe I'll turn this area into a bit of a farm. And it's already hollowed out quite a bit from digging up all that dirt. And as long as the crops don't need direct sunlight, it should work out just fine as a farmland. Alright. Take our dirt and throw it down. here. No. We'll put it here. Water there. Give me my mattock. I guess I'll put the red sand here. I don't know if I actually need to make this farmland, but I figure I might as well. Okay, so crop sticks. All right, and our seeds. Let's see, what was it again? Potato and belladonna for mandrake. Wheat and carrot for sugarcane. So we will go... We'll go belladonna. Wheat carrot, potato, and that should get us some crossbreeds, and it will let us experiment with the other ones to see what, if anything, they can produce. Hopefully it's not going to take too much time. Actually, I have bone meal, so I can probably just accelerate the growth, can't I? Okay, mature carrots, mature potatoes, mature wheat. Mature Belladonna. And hopefully it just... Yeah, look at that! It crossbred! This seed is not yet analyzed. It looks like carrot seeds. Oh, would you be quiet, cat? I don't know if you can hear her, but she is just sitting at my feet and meowing nonstop. She's been doing this in the middle of the night for the past week now. Just for no reason. Meowing. She's got nothing to complain about. She has everything she needs, yet she complains all the time. That 
cat. I swear. Let's see. I guess while that is going, I will... Take my floral fertilizer and use it on the rest of the dirt. Well, I guess this could work. Oh, fireworks <laughs> in an enclosed area. It's not a good thing. Trust me. Hmm. Perhaps I should be using this on a much wider area. Let's go. Potato seeds. And neither of you are potatoes. Ah, well. Alright, I have a lot more dirt, so I think I will just end up making a bit of land outside to do the rest of my floral fertilizer on. Give me my best chance of getting some, some flowers. I don't know if I'm going to be making a base underground or above ground. I kind of want to make it above ground and have different buildings for each of the areas. Because it just kind of makes sense to me. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to cut it here and rejoin you once morning hits. Because I'm not going to sit around forcing you to wait for me to do things in the daytime. Take care, and goodbye.